this won't stop I can give up didn't think I'd go as well in the final moto as I did, um, especially with Peter Boyle in my class. He was swinging off it and putting pressure on me and that, so it was, uh, it was good to beat him and, and Salvini, especially like he's got a motocross background and that, so to beat, I was saying that, like it's a bit of a grass track, there was no, no jumps or anything, but to beat him I was stoked with. Yeah, happy with the results, uh, finished second outright and uh, winning the E3 class, it's it's pretty good, so uh, yeah, it's been a tough event, but we yeah, got there to the finish and yeah, stoked with it. Yeah, like the injuries have uh, yeah, been pretty tough, but yeah, you just had to try and grit your teeth and and uh, try and get through. So it was, yeah, it was been a rough week, but yeah, the other boys were all on fire, and uh, yeah, I did the best I could. So it's um, hasn't come out on top. So yeah, I can't blame that. It's all all, all good for me. Day four went well. Uh, first test was wet and slippery, and I managed to uh, claim the test win there and uh, caught uh, six or seven seconds on Carney and ten on Salvini. So that made the made it really close. Managed to have a really good final moto and um, just yeah, nice and clean and stayed up and managed to move up to third outright and win the class for the week. Could have kicked it in a few times there, but it's, it was the last event of the year in Australia and uh, I was hoping that yeah, I could try and go out on top and win the four day as well. But um, Daniel Bilner was on fire and yeah, the other guys were putting a lot of pressure on me as well, so it was. It was yeah, definitely tough, but uh, yeah, my main aim was trying to finish off the year on a, on a high note. But it didn't work out that way. But I uh, yeah, won my class. I'm stoked with that. Thrilled. Yeah, great four day for us. Um, you know, we knew we had a good chance, and um, we knew Daniel's really on fire and going well from the six day results and all year really. It's been on a roll and uh, home sort of area. You know, that always lifts somebody. They don't necessarily know where they're going. They just charges him up and uh, he's gone fantastic and uh, and so is Matt you know and uh, and Stefan's always so strong you know especially in enduro so we've had a great result yeah yeah it went really well we, um, we got the title that was the goal the 35s and um, yeah that was the whole goal of the coming here and and yeah had a great time got the um, off-road title earlier in like uh, only a few months ago and then get the four day two would be the double which is good in the in the veterans class so yeah I'm really happy. Yeah I've had a goal to try and get in the top ten. I've um, been training for the last two months with my dad. Just um, putting in the hard yards and yeah trying to get up in the top ten and get a podium in the E3 class which uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not sure about me outright but I think I'm up in the top ten and got a third so happy with that. Well first four day so um yeah um, it's good fun. I like it. Do your trails and then you get to do your tests. And um, yeah, it goes through the long hours, which I like. Endurance is awesome. And um, yeah, that's where my fitness is at, and that's where I like to be. Sweet. Yeah, I try to get my name out there. No one really knows me much. Hopefully, yeah, get my name out there and um, get a few more sponsors. I've struggled this year, sort of. Need trying to get more help, doing a lot through Bolton's motorcycles, just helped me out a lot. And um, yeah, just get those few more sponsors. It'd be great. If I'm not over in the States or, or overseas somewhere, like I'm trying to trying to get a ride over overseas. It's it's my goal kind of thing. So, um, but if not, yeah, I'll be definitely back to the four day. Well, I feel the boys over there kind of smoked me at the six day, like the Aussie boys. So I think I ended up like fourth out of the Aussie boys or something like that. And um, and yeah, to come come over here and beat them boys, we'll come back to home and yeah, beat them boys was was sick. So yeah. <laughs> this is my last uh, year for uh, the race team. So. Sayonara, but hey, I'm not really leaving the sport. I'm just uh, not doing the management side for the team, and uh, and uh, done it for 24 years. So had a ball, had a lot of fun through, you know, throughout all those years. Had a lot of great rides and met so many people. And still doing the same sort of thing, but probably ride a little bit more or whatever. But um, yeah, that's come to an end. But uh, no regrets. It's been great. Yeah, we got through and um, yeah, it's good to see Daniel winning his first four day and uh, yeah, we'll uh, try and come back next year and get it back off him. I was a little bit disappointed yesterday, I was really struggling with the tight test, so um, yeah, something to work on on the summer, just doing the tight stuff as well and uh, just focus on that, so yeah. if it ever comes up again, we can do better. Yeah, 2012 has been a, a tough year, um, yeah, a couple of injuries playing its part, so yeah, 2013 is going to be a lot better, a big summer, so yeah, look, really looking forward to next year and, and new, you know, maybe a different team, so it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, definitely be back in WA next year, have another crack, and yeah, try and improve my um, results and get up there again.
just a big thanks to the team, the Ballard off-road team, couldn't have done it without all, all them and, and all the helpers and family and all the supporters out here, like everyone's coming and back the off-road, so that's awesome to see and, you know, hopefully it just keeps getting bigger and bigger in Australia and, and that'll be sick, so yeah, thanks to all them.